Uh, welcome back. It's been a while since we made a video, um, but we are in the process of testing all the cards in our PDP-12, uh, the ones we can test anyway, to uh, see if they're all behaving correctly. So um, before he died, Warren Stearns, who features in a number of our earlier videos, um, who helped us here get the machine going, he had prototyped a flip chip tester to test the individual components of the uh, PDP-12 and, and PDP-8s and other machines like that. And because each of these cards does a different logic operation, particularly the maroon cards, um, typically do certain discrete logic operations, um, he built a machine that you could plug the cards into and exercise all the inputs and outputs and make sure that they're working correctly for a large portion of the cards. Again, most of these maroon cards can be tested this way. Well, Warren's tester originally was um, just a, a prototype that he hand built kind of out of perf board and stuff and ran over a parallel port to an older laptop. I think it was running XP, but I can't quite remember. Um, but after he died, his friends, um, Doug and Vince uh, and others, um, worked together to um, save the software, document the design of the original, and um, Vince made a PCB of the flip chip tester that we're going to look at in a second, and he puts together kits that you can get from him if you're trying to restore or maintain a machine like this. And we've had a few kind of weird problems with the machine of late, and since we recently got the flip chip tester up and running, um, thanks to Vince and the donations of some friends, we decided we're just going to test all the testable cards um, and identify the ones that are having issues. So um, we're going to go through the process of uh, testing one card um, and show you how it works and then maybe uh, we'll test a card that has an error because we know there are a couple in here that need to be repaired. Um, maybe we'll save that for the next video. We'll see. Um, all right, so I'm going to pull a card and then Kyle and I are going to swap a uh, card for phone. So I have a little bookmark here because this is um, where we are through the machine. So I'm going to move that bookmark down. Now I'm going to pull out this card. And this is an M113 flip chip. And the trace says that it's 10 two input NAND gates, but an M113, you can see in this handy uh, logic manual that DEC made, um, M113 is, um, I guess it is NAND gates. Um, anyway, sometimes they use the same trace for different logic chips, and so sometimes the trace will not match what's on here, but in this case it does. All right, <clears throat> so I'm going to take the phone, and Kyle's going to take the flip chip, and here's the machine. So here's the PCB that Vince laid out, and this one is modified to use a Raspberry Pi Zero, which is down inside here. And um, Vince also made a, a design for a 3D printed base, um, which someone in our department, Dr. Tom Buck, uh, bought green filament and printed it so that it would have PDP-12 colors, which we appreciate. Um, this is the Amy P. Vandling Memorial Thing. Um, Amy P. Vandling is alive and well, um, and uh, her uh, spouse, Neil, donated the Raspberry Pi Zero, and I asked him um, what he wanted on it, and that's the name. Um, so uh, what this allows us to do is provide inputs and test outputs from the flip chips when they're placed into the machine. Um, these other um, pins and these jumpers are for um, certain tests or if you might want to connect um, the inputs or outputs to an oscilloscope, for example, to check the timing of delay circuits and things like that. We're not going to do that here. So Kyle is going to walk us through the process of testing the flip chip. So what do we do, Kyle? Well, first things first, we need to get it in the flip chip tester. Yes, that's an important step. So I'm just going to pop it in. Yep. The next, what we need is to make sure that we're running the right test, because if we weren't running the right test on the right chip, then it's going to fail. Yeah. So this is an M113, and I'm going to quickly load this up. 
and it tells us everything we want to know about the card. Copy that for later. Yep. And then I'm going to turn the power on okay. so we can run the test. So that power actually powers the card itself because, of course, the card has to have um, power and ground to work. Then with that, I'm going to open the testing environment, and then I'm just going to run it once, make sure it works. And this one failed. Oh, wow. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's try again. Yeah, I'm going to quit out, reseed it, power off. So sometimes we'll get a sort of a transient failure, um, and then it will work. So it's not clear if that's a a contact that's not quite working right or something like that. So we may have gotten more than we bargained for with this video. Uh -huh. And now it passes. Now it passes. So um, this may be a reason why the the manual for the PDP-12 indicates percussive maintenance when all else fails of gently tapping or reseeding the flip chip cards. Um, so we'll go with that. So what do we do after we test it one time? Well, we can't be sure if it works after one time, so we're gonna test it a bunch more times. And there's this handy dandy feature where it will go and it'll stop on a failure. So I'm just gonna hit that and it's gonna test a bunch of times. Yeah. And we're just gonna wait for about a hundred tests and then we're gonna stop it, mark it, and go from there. Yep, so it's testing. We're running a bunch. Now, while that's running, what do we have over here on the right-hand side of the screen? On the right-hand side, this is our big spreadsheet for keeping track of all the cards. And we've been doing this with comments and marking relevant information. And then I'm going to put the amount of tests that this card succeeded, mark, and I'm making sure that we have documented that it did fail once, so we yeah. know to keep an eye on this card. Yeah, we're watching you, card. <laughs> All right, so how many tests have we gotten through so far? A lot. To be exact, 652. Cool. So because the logic performed um, by each card is different, some cards test really fast, others take, you know, several seconds. Uh, what's the longest, would you estimate? I... We haven't done the, the register cards yet, which are pretty complicated, but is it like 30 seconds or 15 seconds or? I think it's about 20 seconds. 20, something in the 20 seconds. So, you know, even the slower cards don't take that long to test once. Um, potentially barring the register cards, which we haven't done yet. Maybe we'll do a video on that when we get to them. All right, so this one has passed uh, 652 times, failed once. Uh, usually when we get that transient failure, it, it fails the first time. Um, so it's not like it works 200 times, fails once, and then works another 400 times. Um, so this is why we think the card is probably okay. All right, so I'm going to hand the phone back to Kyle, and then I will reseat this flip chip. Of course, Kyle powered off the uh, chip power. All right, so take this, and here's the phone. My hand got right over the camera. Yeah, that's okay. That's, that's, <laughs> uh, that's how you know it's real cinema. All right, so 115. Now... This one, if you look at the spreadsheet here, there's a gap. So this, this slot is empty. So I should go from 212, 115, empty, and then this 113, which should be above a 115. And I just, you know, I'm a little paranoid about making sure that when we're doing this, we don't put things back in the wrong spot. Um, so I gotta get this in level. And it takes kind of a surprising amount of force to get them in there. And of course, you can't quite see what you're doing, so it's a little bit nerve-wracking, especially for those double-wide cards. All right, so 212, 212, 115, empty, 113, and now 115. So I'm going to um, leave this here for a second, because as soon as we're done shooting this video, Kyle and I will continue testing these. And maybe if we're lucky, by the end of today, we'll get through um, these columns. We'll see. All right, thank you for watching, and stay tuned.